and coming from Bridge of Erin as a youngster, when was your, do you remember your first St Johnston game or your memories as a child coming to a St Johnston game? Um, maybe not my first game, but I do remember one game, um, I don't know why it sticks in my memory, I think it was against Celtic, and uh, came up and it was a, a midweek game at night and the floodlights were on, and, but the fog was there and uh, it actually got called off, so uh, me and my dad had already got a pie and a, a, a a cup of tea or something and uh, sitting waiting um, but the game eventually got called off so we had to had to go home uh, which was unfortunate but I think that's one of my first real memories of coming to watch Saints. And from coming to watch St Johnston you must have always imagined yourself being on the pitch being one of the players playing for, for the team? Yeah coming along to the games and uh, obviously when I was growing up um, I just wanted to play football all the time and obviously wanted to play Play on the, on the pitch, uh, watching watching some of the, your idols playing. It's um, where you want to be, and uh, I've been lucky enough to to do that. Did you have any favourites St Johnston players growing up at all? Um, George Boyle was one uh, when I was younger, and uh, uh, also Nick Dazovich. He was he was certainly one that I, that I looked looked at playing. Um, obviously. Um, Alan Preston, uh, watched him play. Uh, probably have to say he was he was a good player. Uh, um, he never got golf, but he's uh, he was a good player at the time. And the success you've had at St Johnston, first of all, just talking about the, the European matches. You you you're influential in a lot of the goals, assisting both goals against Rosenberg. Yeah, uh, I was I was just delighted to be here, and then. Just starting, starting the game was just uh, was great for me, and uh, the boys were were brilliant with me when I, I first came in. It was easy to settle in. I knew a couple of the boys already, um, which was great, and um, it really helped when I was playing. I think I was playing that game at right right midfield, and it really helped me with Dave Mackay uh, playing behind me, and uh, he just he just played me through the game basically, and. Uh, used the experience to to help me through it, and um, it was just a great, great night uh, over there, um, playing in such a big stadium, uh, a big occasion, and the way the boys performed and the way the team performed was was brilliant, and what a result it was. The first goal over there, just a set piece, and uh, just put it into the area. And Big Fraz was always always willing to get into the into the box and. Luckily, he found himself in the right place at the right time, and he's he's finished it well. Um, he's down at his feet, I think it was. Um, he's put in the back of the net, and what a feeling that was! And the, the Saints fans were, were right behind us. Uh, I think at that point, and it was just it was what a feeling it was, and it was uh, great to to get that win over there. And then when we come here, uh, we knew it was going to be difficult. Uh, they'd be chasing the game, obviously, and they've got nothing to lose. Um, and they got that goal early on. Which was, which was unfortunate. Um, uh, but the big, big guy finished it well. Um, but then, I think Stevie May it was his first start. Um, I think Steve McLean got injured, or um, Miller. it was Miller, was it? Um, got injured and, and couldn't play. So Mayo got a, a head, um, and what a night it was for him. Um, he made his mark, and um, I just seen him run. He always made runs in behind and. I just seen him, so I, I flicked it over the top. Um, but luckily, the goalkeeper and defender made a wee hesitation, and Mazel well pounced on it, and uh, it was a great finish. And it was just a great night as well. Uh, I think Mazel well probably had his, his best season um, at Saints. There, um, he obviously started it with scoring against Rosenberg, and then finished it with um, winning the cup final with us. And it was it was such a great season overall. Uh, I mean. Such a, a a small club like ourselves, uh, finishing in the top six is an achievement in itself, and uh, to go on and win a cup um, was massive for us, and uh, it, was a, it was a great feeling. What did that mean to you as a St Johnson supporter to help the team win the Scottish Cup? And was it emotional the final whistle? Yeah, of course, uh, definitely. I mean, um, I just remember us going two 0 up and thinking that's it, that's it's, it's our day, and. Um, at the end of the, the end of the, the whistle went, and straight away the boys just knew it, and it was just um, words can't really describe it. 
um, such a great feeling um, looking up to the stands and, and seeing my family and everything there and um, being able to get my daughter on the pitch um, she will never she probably will never remember it but she was there at the time and um, my fiance was there as well and it's, it's just such a massive achievement for the club um, and to do it in the first season that was here was, was great and uh, I'll, I'll always I'll always think back to the, the two seasons I got did get to the final and didn't play and that straight away came into my head as soon as we won it. It's just that uh, it was worth it in the end. And um, but it was such a, a massive team performance that we knew we could go and win it, and we believed it, and we did. And your relationship with Tommy Wright, what's what's that like? Because he's somebody that always talks highly of you, and how he brought brought you in from Hibs, um, and he's kind of giving you confidence, giving you a, a consistency with playing playing lots of matches for him. Yeah, he's uh, he's very open and honest with me. Um, if I've not played well, he'll tell me. If I've, I've played well, he'll tell me. So it's uh, you don't get any surprises with him. Um, but yeah, it's, he's been great with me. He's, um, he was he was great when during the birth of my my daughter. Um, he's been understanding uh, throughout uh, three and a half years, and um, one of the main reasons why I've I've chose to stay at Saints is down to down to him. The, the club's achieved a lot of success since, yeah. since you came to the club. Can the, can the club keep that going into the future? Yeah, of course. I mean, again, we're looking at this season to finish in the top six and uh, we've we've put ourselves in a good position, but it's up to us to, to close that out and, and finish in that top six. Um, but we've, we have, we've done well in the past and um, we need to continue that. Uh, look, look to get silverware as, as much as we can. Uh, unfortunately, um, we won't win a cup this year, but um, we'll definitely be pushing for top six at the end of the season. Just finally, um, the club's had a long, a long history, and you've played a, a big part in success it's had in, in its more recent, more recent years. What's what to you is so special about St Johnston? Um, just everything about it. Um, the fact that it's it's not the biggest club in Scotland, and it's achieve, overachieving. I, I feel. Uh, year in year out and um, it's just growing the progress it's made uh, is great and hopefully that can continue um, the way the, 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 the clubs run and the, how it's very um, family friendly and um, it's uh, it's been great to be here for the three and a half years and obviously I've supported them for a much longer time than that um, and I will continue um, continue to support Saints and, and um, hopefully we can progress to further and better things.